What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, just like last week, I'm going to be giving my NFL Week 2 predictions. Um, I'm not going to be giving any score predictions, nothing like that, nothing crazy. This is an actual football pool where money is involved, so I'm not going to bother with score predictions. Um, also, some of these I may give a bigger explanation than others. Some I may not give an explanation. Um... So, let's just get right into it. Uh, Thursday night, tomorrow. Well, depending on when I release this, I'm recording this as of Wednesday night. Um, Tampa Bay going into Carolina. Uh, I'm I'm going with the Panthers on this one. Um, but it's actually a little bit closer than most years. I am kind of curious to see exactly how Tampa performs this week. Um, but... I just think the Panthers are going to be a little bit too much for him. And one thing, I, I am interested to see Joe McCoy's return um, against Tampa Bay. So, that'll be cool. Um, moving on to Arizona at Baltimore. I'm going with Baltimore. Uh, I just don't think Arizona has enough right now to beat them. Um, I just don't think they have enough to get past that defense right now, to be honest with you. Uh but it should be a lot closer than Baltimore versus Miami, so, you know, there's that. Uh, moving on, the Chargers versus the Lions. Going with the Chargers. I don't even think I really need to explain too much. The Chargers are just straight up a better team across the board. So, yeah. Um, Indianapolis versus Tennessee. This one's kind of close for me. Um, the, the Both teams are kind of hard to judge right now. I'm curious to see how Indy is going to be. Um, now that Andrew Luck is out the picture, you know, Jacoby Brissett's good. Um, and they got a pretty good team around him, so I, I'm not counting them out, but I am going to go with the Titans. Um, I just think that they might be a little bit too much for them, but th this, this should be a close game, so it could go either way. Um, San Francisco versus the, um, the Bengals. Going with, uh, the 49ers here. I just, th I just feel like. Other than Miami, Cincinnati's probably the worst team in the NFL. Um, the 49ers, I think they're a little bit overrated going into this season as well, but I still think they're good enough to beat the Bengals. So, yeah. Minnesota versus Green Bay. This one's still a little bit hard. Um, I don't know how to call Minnesota yet or Green Bay for that matter, but I'm going to go with the Packers at home. Uh, Lambeau Field is a hard place to win in. And uh, I'm not going to count out Aaron Rodgers here. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, th this game could go either way. The Vikings are kind of hard to figure out right now. Uh, we'll, we'll know more about what they're going to be about this year as the season progresses. So, Just going to move on to um, Jacksonville at Houston. Going with the Texans. Uh, I probably was going to already go for the Texans before Nick Foles got hurt. And now that he's not there, I'm definitely going with the Texans. I just think they have too much. I think they're just a better team. And uh, the same goes for this next this next game, Dallas versus Washington. I'm going with Dallas. They're better on all cylinders. So not even really going to explain myself there. Um, Seattle at Pittsburgh. That one's tough. Um... I just think, well, both teams got a lot of question marks right now. That's a, that's a tough one. This one could really go either way. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh, though, just because I still don't like the Seahawks' offensive line. I still think it's trash. But this one could go either way. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised. Buffalo versus the Giants. I'm going with Buffalo. Uh, another one that can kind of go either way. Both these, these teams are pretty equally bad in my eyes. But I'm going to edge it out to Buffalo just because the Giants still haven't really improved that offensive line enough for my liking. So, you know, there's that. Um, New England going into Miami, the Patriots. I'm not even going to explain myself. Same with this next one. Chiefs going into Oakland. I'm not even going to explain myself. Kansas City. And, by the way, I was choosing New England against Miami, if I didn't make that clear. Now, this next one is a little bit tougher. New Orleans going into L.A. to play the Rams. That one's a little bit tougher. Um, 
This one could go either way. I'm going to go with New Orleans. I'm going to count on Drew Brees. Uh, this is probably a little bit of wishful thinking because I got Drew Brees in my fantasy team, but that's not what went into this. But um, The Rams just got some question marks for me still. Uh, if Todd Gurley's going to be able to stay healthy, how many carries he's going to get because he really didn't get that many carries into the second half. But, of course, they're playing the Saints, so he may get some more carries going into this game. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, Chicago versus Denver. I know Chicago didn't do too well against the Packers, but I'm going with Chicago here. Um, I just think that the Broncos' offense is pretty trash. I think they're going to get decimated by that defense. Um, I think it's probably going to be a pretty tough game offensively either way because Denver's defense is still pretty solid in its own right. And... Um, but I, I do think Chicago is going to have a little bit more in their arsenal than Denver does. So, um, Plus, Joe Flacco is pretty trash. But I'm not too sure about Mitch either, so who knows. Um, Philly going into Atlanta. I'm going with the Eagles. Um, I'm not really too sure about Atlanta yet. They made some pretty questionable calls in the draft. Um, actually, so did Philly a little bit. But I just think the Philly is going to be a little bit too much for them. I think... Um, I think Atlanta could has potential to be a pretty solid team this year. It's just, I think Philly is just that little bit much better. So I'm going to go with them. In this last game, the uh, Browns versus the Jets, I'm going with the Browns. Um, I know they did really bad against the Titans, but I still think that they're going to turn this around at some point. Most of these players haven't really played together. A lot of them didn't really play preseason. So um, just just give them a little bit. Don't judge too harshly off week one. I made a video talking about not uh, not worrying about week one too much. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I think those are all my predictions. Um, yeah. So, I think that's going to be about it for this video. If you liked it, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.